I will answer question number one in the name of the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Mr Speaker, this question is to the Prime Minister and asks, does he stand by his statement, and I quote him, we have a plan, and that plan is working for New Zealand. <laughs> right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, absolutely. <laughs> Supplementary question. Supplementary question, right Honourable Winston You'll Peters. You'll hear it in the campaign, son. Order. Supp oh, you order. Excited. Supplementary question, right on. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Speaker. Yeah, well, you think Manuel Labour is the Prime Minister of Mexico, don't you? Order. That's how order. you are. Order. The interjections coming from that right hand back of the House will cease. Right honourable Prime Minister. Thank you for bringing order, Mr. Speaker. This question, supplementary to the Prime Minister, is. If the plan is working, why are well over 148,000 Kiwis unemployed and a further 100,000 seeking much more work than they've currently got? Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, firstly, the unemployment rate in New Zealand is falling. Uh, the participation rate in New Zealand is dramatically increasing. And I'd be a bit cautious about quoting those numbers because that's off the Household Labour Force survey and indicates anybody that's looking for one hour or, of work or more. Order. Order. Supplementary question. Yes. Right Honourable Winston Peters. If the plan is working, why is New Zealand's total international debt at a staggering $150 billion? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, it depends on how you members measuring that. But, but I would indicate, of course, over the last five or six years, the government has borrowed. Um, and if the member is going to come with me down to Christchurch, and tell the people of Christchurch that New Zealand First doesn't care about them and wouldn't have borrowed money to support them, then I really look forward to the member being standing next to me and saying to the people of Christchurch, it's common sense just to leave you behind. But a national government wouldn't do that. Oh, struck a nerve. So, order. <laughs> <laughs> Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Minister. If the plan is working, and what a former National Prime Minister called a property owning democracy, why is home ownership at its lowest percentage rate since 1951? Well, order. I want to hear the answer to the Right Honourable fact, Prime Minister. Speak, we might dispute the fact, but what we can say is the government has a comprehensive plan that is actually starting to work in relation to home ownership. And if the member wants to support us in terms of reform of the RMA that will allow us to speed up that process even more, again, he should feel free to come over here and put his warm little hand in mine and together we can sing a song, It's Common Sense, to have reform of the RMA. Order, order. We're not stupid. Supplementary so question. question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. <laughs> Now, if the plan is working in a country where a former National Labour Minister knew the name of every unemployed because there are only 29 of them, how come 22% of Māori and 25% of Pacifica people under, so aged between 15 and 24, are unemployed in their own country? Well, right Honourable <laughs> Prime Minister. Well, Mr Speaker, I think at the, the time at which a Minister of Labour could name every single person that was unemployed was the time when mowers were around in New Zealand. Uh, I don't think that's worked uh, terribly well, Mr Speaker. Uh, but the reality is uh, that the government's been investing heavily in a, in a range of areas uh, to deliver economic growth, and it's working for New Zealand. Supplementary question, again. Supplementary question, the Right Honourable Winston Peters. Prime Minister, if the National Party was, in inverted commas, working for New Zealand, why would it have to say it and spend millions in PR trying to hook that delusional message? Right Honourable Prime Minister. Mr Speaker, uh, the party is uh, running a campaign uh, message that uh, it's working for New Zealand because that reflects actually a government that over the last six years has worked very hard for the people of New Zealand across a wide range of areas. It also reflects a party that's received uh, significant support from New Zealand on the back of the fact that they do believe in fact it's working for New Zealand. Question number two, Honourable David Cunliffe. Order. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Thank you, Mr Speaker. To the Prime Minister.